Thanks for choosing Dyquil. Before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. It is really important. Hit that notification button as well, because there are loads more videos coming. You can get more detail about Dyquil and our courses at our website at mydyquil.com. Please enjoy this video. There is a real need to understand what should and should not be done, if you discover an IED. For example, the layman might not realize that a mobile phone, or a personal mobile radio, can trigger the detonation of an explosive device. It is also important to know what to do if you inadvertently touch a device, and become contaminated. So, what do you do if you think that you have discovered an IED? Well, do not open it. Do not shake it. Do not smell it. And do not taste it. It could harm you. Clear the area and create a cordon. If you get anything on you, then wash it off with soap and water. Collect as much information as possible to pass to the emergency services. But, what if you think that you have a CBR incident? Chemical, biological and radiological. You should look for clues that there has been a CBR incident. Sore eyes. Irritation in the nose. Or generally feeling ill or nauseous. The UK CPNI have a protocol called Remove, Remove, Remove. Remove yourself and others from the area as soon as possible. Remove your outer clothing and put in a safe place. Maybe not the washing machine though. Remove any contamination on your skin by washing with soap and water. The UK CPNI have a poster that accompanies the Remove 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 protocol. It provides further details about what to do, and what to look for to indicate that a CBR incident has occurred. Now, let's look at what to do if you are involved in an explosion incident. It is a good idea to have a personal emergency plan. So, you should already have thought about an escape plan. You should also know where the nearest hospitals are. You should know how to evacuate. And you should know how to get help. Remember, if you can, get clear of the area in case of falling debris or a secondary device. If you are in a building and cannot escape immediately, get under a sturdy table to protect yourself from falling debris. Leave as soon as you can and do not wait to collect personal belongings and do not make any phone calls or use a personal mobile radio. If it is safe to do so, assist others in leaving the area and ensure that they also do not use mobile phones or radios. If you are trapped and cannot get out of the building, then cover your nose and mouth to avoid breathing in any hazardous substances. Try not to move and disturb dust or loose debris. Try to alert rescuers with a flashlight or a whistle. If these are not available, try tapping on a solid pipe or wall. Avoid shouting if you can, because in order to shout, you will have to breathe in, and that may cause you to inhale hazardous substances. When you are clear, and it is safe to do so, the UK CPNI also have a memory aid for relaying information to the emergency services. It's called F A E. Exact location. T. What type of incident? H. What hazards are present or suspected? A. What access routes are available? N. Number of casualties. 
E. What emergency services are on site and what are required? E. T. H. A. N. E. Ethane. This video is a brief summary of the DiQual SF106 module. It demonstrates that there is a real need to know what to do if you are presented with a threat. What to do if you suspect you have an IED or CBR device, how to spot a CBR incident, and how to plan your own safety. You can get the full details of this subject matter from the DICOL module, SF106. As well as our website, you can find more videos and information on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Wherever you find us, please don't forget to like us, share us, subscribe and comment.